Free fall acceleration and the gravitational force. The weight of an object near the Earth's surface is the magnitude of the gravitational force. So as we have seen previously, uh, the weight of the object is mass times the gravitational acceleration g, which is equal to the magnitude of the gravitational force, universal uh, gravitational constant g, mass of the Earth divided by radius of the Earth squared times m. So this is for an object on the Earth's surface. So from this, we can pull out uh, g by canceling the m's. g, the gravitational free fall acceleration, is uh, capital G, universal gravitational constant, mass of the Earth divided by radius of the Earth square, which is approximately 9.8 meters per second square. Now, what happens if this object is an altitude at an altitude h? So we, it's the same principle if you have the Earth and the object and there is a distance between them. The distance is R. It's G M E M divided by R squared. That is the magnitude of the gravitational force. But this time the distance between the object and the Earth's center is radius of the Earth plus the altitude H parentheses squared. So we see that if this is equal to the weight of the object at an altitude h, the free fall gravitational acceleration g is, is a function of h, the altitude, which is given by capital G, mass of the Earth, divided by radius of the Earth plus the height h, parentheses squared. So how does the gravitational acceleration behave as a function of height? It basically decreases with increasing altitude. So it has an h dependence. Now, considering that the radius of the Earth is 6,370 kilometers, if we are a few meters away from the surface, this number will be negligible as compared to the radius of the Earth. So approximately, g will be independent of h. But this would be only true if we are not close to the close to heights uh, that are in numerical value uh, com comparable to the radius of the Earth. Okay. So, <clears throat> here is an example. The International Space Station operates at an altitude of 350 kilometers. Now, this number is a large number. So, plans for the final construction show that material of weight 4.22 times 10 to 6 newtons measured at the Earth's surface will have been lifted off the surface by various spacecrafts during the construction process. What is the weight of the space station when in orbit? Okay, so we know the weight on the Earth's surface. Uh, the weight is basically mass times gravitational acceleration g. That is 4.22 times 10 to 6 newtons at zero altitude. And we would like to know what the total weight is when the altitude is 350 kilometers. So this is for a space station that will be put into orbit. Okay. Now, uh, mass times the gravitational acceleration g on the Earth's surface is 4.22 times 10 to 6. Therefore, I can see that the mass, the total mass I'm talking about, is 4.22 times 10 to 6 divided by the gravitational acceleration, 9.8 meters per second square. So this gives me a mass for the space station, a total mass of 4.31 times 10 to 5 kilograms. This is the mass of the space station. Now, we are at an altitude h. Um, at an altitude h, the gravitational force will be mass of the space station multiplied by the gravitational acceleration 
value at that height, which will be equal to the magnitude of the gravitational force, capital G, um, mass of the space station multiplied by mass of the Earth, divided by the radius of the Earth plus the altitude h squared, which will be the total distance between the space station and the center of the Earth. So I find that the gravitational acceleration at an altitude of 350 kilometers will be, let's put the numbers here, gravitational constant 6.67 10 to minus 11, a mass of the Earth is 5.97 10 to 24 kilograms. You can see here that I have cancelled uh, the mass of the space station from both sides. And I'm left with uh, these numbers. Now, uh, radius of the Earth is 6,370 kilometers, 6.37 times 10 to 6 meters plus 350 kilometers that's 0 0.35 times 10 to 6 meters parentheses squared so i find that the gravitational acceleration at an altitude of 350 kilometers is actually 8.82 meters per second square so that's quite different from the number we have been using 9.8 meters per second square all right so what i would like to know is the weight at this height the weight at height h is mass times gravitational acceleration at h the mass i have found to be 4.31 times 10 to 5 kilograms the gravitational acceleration is 8.82 so i find that the total weight at this altitude at h equals 350 kilometers will be equal to 3.8 times 10 to 6 newtons so the weight measured on the surface of the earth was 4.22 10 to 6 newtons now you can see that it has decreased to 3.8 times 10 to 6 newtons all right so in summary uh, we have seen that the free fall acceleration, gravitational acceleration, uh, is found by calculating, uh, equating the weight of an object to the magnitude of the gravitational force. And we see that g has a value 9.8 meters per second square at the Earth's surface. However, at an altitude h, it has g, capital G, universal gravitational constant, mass of the Earth divided by radius of the Earth plus the altitude h parentheses squared. So this only has a numerical meaning as a meaningful change in g will occur if h is comparable to the radius of the Earth. If h is 1 meter, our radius of the Earth is 6,370 kilometers. This will be negligible usually. So for practical calculations, we usually take g to be independent of the altitude h, but when we talk about a space station or something like that that is going uh, far away from the earth's surface this has to be taken into account so gravitational acceleration decreases with increasing altitude in this example we see that the weight measured at the earth's surface is 4.22 10 to 6 newtons and we want to know the weight at an altitude of 350 kilometers so we looked at the mass mg equals the weight at the Earth's surface, where G is 9.8 at the Earth's surface. Uh, so we find the mass. And at an altitude H, uh, we use the uh, height dependence of gravitational acceleration. And this time we do take into account this H because uh, 0 0.35 10 to 6 is comparable to 6.37 10 to 6. So these numbers uh, will add up and will give us a meaningful change in G. And in fact, we find it's 8.82, quite different from 9.8 meters per second square. And the corresponding weight is found by multiplying with this new G value and the mass M. And we see that the weight has a decrease 4.22 10 to 6 decreases to 3.8 10 to 6 newtons at this altitude.